Guile then looked carefully at Scout. His new friend was showing signs of having great potential as a scientist or an investigator. How much was Scout's natural curiosity in his profession, or how much was Guile's influence was hard to tell. However, Guile would have to be careful that he didn't have too much effect on the Scout or his society. Society was small and vulnerable to any changes that he introduced to it. Currently, the society was stable and growing and developing in what appeared to be a natural way, and Guile had heard enough stories of outside influences causing a society to collapse. He wanted to avoid this if at all possible. The only sensible way forward then was to learn as much as he could about the society and how it was currently functioning, and also how it came to be here in the first place. Then he could introduce only what was either essential for the people to survive or what they could handle without risking severe damage to their way of life. It did leave him with some issues which he attempted to logically work through. Firstly, what would happen if some accident or event killed him or left him unable to assist these people? Secondly, how much should he share with Scout? How much information could Scout handle without being completely alienated? Thirdly, should he approach the leadership structure in the society? Currently they appeared open and friendly. However, later they may regard him as a threat to the position in society. Fourthly, what was he do about the people who would eventually follow him to this planet? Whilst hope was quite large, it would be inevitable that, in the end, the two sets of people would have to get along. The best way of doing this would be to slowly introduce new elements to society without destroying it. Gaia frowned, thinking he wasn't the best person for this task. He could really need someone who would deal better with people. Whilst he seemed to be getting along with Scout, he was not generally a people person. You have a very serious look on your face, my friend. Scout's words snapped him out of reverie. You look like you spent all morning foraging for food, and then in the afternoon tripped and dropped it in the river. I should know. One afternoon this happened to me. It certainly wasn't my best day. Both Gilo and Scout laughed at this. It seemed to lighten the mood a little, or relieve the tension Gilo had been feeling building up inside himself. As the laughter started to die down, Gilo decided that he would risk trying to tell Scout as much as he could and see how he handled it. That way, he would have someone else to help. He could also gauge how ready these people might be able to handle any change. The only issue then would be how much Scout might later share with the leader. Very well, Scout. How do you feel about knowing something new and something that may change how you view your people and your history? I am always learning from Gallo Chosen, and I think I will continue to learn more. If you wish to tell me, then I will listen.